Hi folks, welcome to Machine Learning and Sketches. So who's this video for? Well really, anyone who wants to learn about machine learning. Maybe you jumped in straight into using tools and algorithms and want a better understanding, or maybe you're just completely new to machine learning. This is the first video in a series where I'm going to cover the fundamentals of machine learning in a really visual way, uh, using my very own hand-drawn sketch. I'm going to use real-world examples to define the problems or use cases that you might come across. Later in the series, we'll get into some of the machine learning algorithms you can apply to solve those problems. But let's take a step back. First of all, what is machine learning or ML? I often hear the terms AI and ML used together. If you think of AI as the umbrella term for making computers do clever things, then machine learning is just one branch of AI or artificial intelligence that covers a bunch of algorithms that enable those abilities. The easiest way to understand machine learning is think back to when you were a kid learning your native language. Um, your, prob your parents probably didn't drop a dictionary in your lap and say good luck. Instead you learn by example. Maybe you had a dog, your parents said the word dog and that process literally changed your brain. A connection was made and neural pathways in your brain thickened. Then you said dog and your parents got excited. That could be classed as positive feedback. Or maybe another time you said cat and they said no that's a dog. That would be like negative feedback. That process repeated over time enabled you to become fluent without really ever having to understand how language works. In really simple terms, that's how machine learning algorithms work. They're learned by example, rather than traditional computer programs that are based on a bunch of uh, detailed instructions. Essentially, machine learning algorithms are the implementation of mathematical or statistical techniques to solve problems. Today, I'm going to talk about regression. Regression applies to the type of problem where we're trying to predict a continuous value associated with an object. Let's break it down. Suppose you're trying to predict if your sales, the continuous value, will increase as a result of how many dollars you spend on advertising in this case, our object. This technique is classed as supervised learning because we usually train a regression algorithm using past data. Let's explain this example visually. On our y-axis, we have our sales figure. On our x-axis, we have the number of dollars that we're spending on advertising. We plot the observations. Um, so this is the past data. So we, these are things that we know to be true. So, um, you know, what was a previous impact of uh, dollars we spent on advertising on our sales numbers. What the regression algorithm does is it tries to find a line of best fit based on this data in order to predict future values uh, for uh, values for ad spend that you don't have data for. So if we're looking to make a prediction using uh, an algorithm, a regression algorithm, you basically try to say, if my ad spend is eight, and I don't have any sales data for that, using the line of best fit, it would try to figure out what our sales spend would be, or it would be its prediction. So when might you want to apply this technique? It can be used for all sorts of use cases like stock prediction, maybe a drug response, or maybe just dynamic pricing. So hopefully now you understand what regression means. We didn't really go into the mathematics or the statistics of it. I just want to explain what the term means in practical terms uh, and uh, to what use cases it might apply. So thanks for watching. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any suggestions or feedback, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share, and I will see you on the next.